Trump breaking news. Joe Biden gets the boot on SNL, instead of continuing its assault on Donald Trump, Saturday Night Live has turned its attention to Joe Biden, and Saturday Night's frigid opening, the comedy program poked fun at the 81-year-old by parodying inside politics, while many are wondering if Joe Biden is too old to serve as president, SNL comic Heidi Gardner, who is dressed as Dana Bash of Inside Politics, started by discussing Biden's recent victory in the Michigan primary, Michael Longfellow, dressed as Gavin Newsom, an advocate for Biden, took over after the imposter Bash stated, a New York Times survey finds him down five points, and many people still have worries about his age. The phony Newsom defended the politician by saying, I understand people care about the president's age, but they should look at his record. The shamrock shake has returned, Beyonce has gone country, inflation is down, and he has produced more employment than any president in history. He can do it better, Newsom said in response to an inquiry about whether Biden has the speed and sharpness of a younger guy when it came to handling all those tasks, and his subsequent remarks, Bash expressed his skepticism. People call this man Sleepy Joe. That guy is lightning fast, according to Newsom. The other day, as he was dozing off, I swung a baseball at him, and he snatched it like Robert De Niro in Awakenings. The 1990 film starred Robert De Niro as a man who is paralyzed yet responsive to some stimuli, like catching a ball, but cannot move otherwise. Ask any of the folks who are around him every day, Newsom advised Bash after he imitated De Niro, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre characterized Biden as the most aggressive man she's ever known, and Dana did exactly that by questioning ego nwodim.as Jean-Pierre read out Biden's daily schedule, which included soul cycle lessons, park speed chess, push-up contests, and a meal of five raw chickens and a full potato, he proclaimed, behind closed doors, he's a whirlwind. Concerned about Biden's age, Dana questions Jean-Pierre, is that a little concerning? Only if you're afraid of knowledge, she responds. You know Biden was crushing it since he was 30 years old when Roe vs. Wade was established. The next target of Bash was Marcelo Hernandez's Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas. I'm over it, Mayorkas said to Bash while laughing. I spent the entire weekend with Joe Biden, and he completely exhausted me, his true power lies when no one is looking. Along the border town of Brownsville, Texas, Joe entered beast mode, and we continued on our way. We need to make this border more stringent, just look at how quickly I can pass it, he stated. Next, Mayorkas went on. With a fish in his teeth, he parqueted his way to the top of the boundary wall, front flipped into the Rio Grande, and then came back up Mayorkas said, it doesn't fit your narrative. In response, Bash spoke with Devin Walker's character, basketball player Draymond Green, before accusing Mayorkas of media prejudice for not reporting on their weekend escapade, for Green, Biden, got that dog in him meant that the Democrat had dunked from his campaign not he dunk on you, right? Astounded, Bash inquired, yeah, it was rude as well, Green went on to say. In my face, he did a windmill. I proceeded to attempt to strike him in the nuts, breaking three of my fingers, Walker continued. Joe is someone you just can't chance. It was unnecessary for Bash to exaggerate to make voters feel better, he said Newsom as the program came to a close, Mikey Day plays the role of journalist FaceTime Biden, who Newsom offers as a rebuttal, Biden loudly announces, hey, it's Gavin Newsom, the governor of California. Wait a second, I'm going to raise the level. As Biden searches for the volume button, he inadvertently ends the connection.